guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, well, 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 if it isn't no accountability for one's own actions, we talk about that a lot. And it seems uh, very, very much coming from women nowadays. Well, if you, I'm sure most of you have seen the memes or the stories or the coverage or the video I did of the female police officer that basically slept with 60% of the road force or the cops on the street of her uh, small town Tennessee police department and everybody got fired and pretty much wiped out a small town's police department because of her inability to keep it in her own pants and same thing for the men that decided to sleep with her. Uh, well, now she's suing everybody. Why? Because it's not her fault. It's never their fault. It's no, it wasn't me. I somehow got convinced or talked into it. Now, of course, they have audio uh, of the interviews of her uh, where she had basically admits that it's it's her fault. She doesn't mention anything about being talked into it until now, a couple weeks later after she talked to an attorney and may have a back door out of this. No pun intended. Uh, so uh, another story of women not having any accountability. I'm going to read that here in just one second before I do. Um, I'm going to be doing another video today called Men Are Damned If They Do, Damned If They Don't. If it's not in your recommended feed, please look for it. I think it's actually the more important story um, that I'm going to be talking about today where men have decided, you know what, I don't want to deal with women. I'm not going to interact with them at work, or if I do, it'll be on a completely professional basis, not as friends, because I don't want any, you know, accusations or anything bad happening to me. And because of that, now women want to get them in trouble for not interacting with them. And, and that's going to be a, a very good and I'd say necessary listen for men so you can, I don't know, so you just kind of know what's going on. I don't know how you avoid the, the problems anymore. So that'll be my other video uh, out today. Please keep an eye out for that. Okay, so uh, Daily Mail has gotten, uh, th now this is the lead up. This is the lead up and then I've got the main story, um, which is that she's suing the, the police department saying that nothing's her fault. But this is from the Daily Mail uh, exclusive. She says, and this is Megan Hall, the cop. She said, I got desperate. Listen as cop gone wild, Megan Hall, squirms while describing her wild uh, romps sex romps with fellow officers during a human resources interview where boss tells her, don't dip your pen in the company ink. Um, she says, I got stupid and guys are guys and they'll stick their D in anything, Hall says, which yes, a lot of guys will, uh, especially if their marriage or their relationship isn't good and she makes herself available. Yep, uh, bad men will do bad things. No surprises there. So it's it, because, and it's, I'm not putting this 100% on her. Uh, I'm putting the vast majority of it on her, uh, but it's also the fault of the guys that got involved. Anyway, uh, sheepishly, uh, Hall 26 mumbles, stutters, lies. Of course she lies. Uh, and then finally comes clean over the course of three interviews spanning two hours, reflecting, I got stupid. I read that line already. Her confession leaves Laverne's shell shock police chief, uh, Burl, Chip Davis struggling for words before he dryly advises the young siren, "What do they say? Don't dip your pink. Uh, don't tip, don't dip your pen in the company ink." Uh, I'm not going to bother playing the audio recording. Basically, though, when they're because it's seven minutes long and who cares? Um, but basically, it's when she's being interviewed and he says, "Hey, these people have been saying you did these things while on duty in government buildings. What's your reply?" Her first questions aren't, or her first comments aren't uh, uh, saying, yes, I did it, or no, I did it, or anything like that. Her first comments are, who told you? How, uh, what evidence do you have? Well, uh, and, and fighting, pushing back against it. So anyway, you guys know the story of this. The husband's probably going to stay with her. But here's the interesting part, and this is the part that really is the, the main story here. She files a lawsuit, claims she was groomed by fellow officers. Not my fault. They talked me into it. They pushed me into it. No accountability for my actions. It's everybody else but me. And we. this is a running theme today with, with just women in general. They say a former Tennessee police officer was forced off of the department, disgraced after it was discovered she slept with over 60% of the force. And that's 60% of the men that were of the police force that are out and about driving and doing arrests and all that stuff. Not of everybody that works in the police department. That it was only 20% of, of that many people. 
Uh, she's filed an equal opportunity or equal employment opportunity commission complaint against the city she once protected. Megan Hall, who became internationally known uh, earlier this year for her outrageous sex scandal, claims the the hostile working conditions at Laverne Police Department led her to eventually sleep with multiple men at the department because it's everybody else's fault. Hall claims several of her supervisors uh, groomed her and utilized her uh, sexually without her consent. Although if you listen to the interview and and read the, the previous stories, uh, she admits it was kind of, she was the one that put it in motion. Of course, that story's changing now. Uh, additionally, Hall claims that Davis asked her to dance for him in his office. And this is the, the cop that was like, don't put your pen in company ink that I just read from the other story. According to WSMV, a third party investigation revealed that Davis potentially violated federal law by not reporting the misconduct. Hall went on to complain that female officers at the department were treated as objects and targets for verbal and physical har harassing. I think, uh, I think as a whole, the city is disappointed with the situation, said Laverne Mayor, or, uh, Laverne Mayor Jason Cole, who has championed the complaint and was the first to report misconduct to the city's HR. So he was the first to report it, but she's saying that he didn't report it and he hid it for a long time and then I guess came out later. She, uh, they go on to say the police department is held to a higher standard. I guess he's saying this. The police department is held to a higher standard, so I don't think it falls on any one member of this uh, mayor, Alt, mayor and alderman board. I think we need to make sure we're setting policies and procedures that lift our city and our officers up and give them tools they need to do what they're supposed to do and training, et cetera. They say Officer Hall cracked during the investigation when asked about her husband walking in on a threesome. Transcript, script, transcripts uh, reveal. So, and they have here, they, they have the... The audio recording, it's out there. I mean, it's, this is a story, uh, when, uh, this is a story that uh, Daily Mail put up on uh, February 2nd. So if you want to find that, you can just look at the, you know, uh, Megan Hall. And, and that's what I did a search for is Officer Megan Hall. And I found this article. So it's pretty easy to find. Um, the, the problem with this stuff and I, I've said this for everything. You know, when we talk about good times make weak men, what we're really talking about, yes, we're talking about employment. We're talking about maybe men being masculine and strong. We're talking about men being tough. But we're also talking about men not standing their own ground and men not being uh, able to stand up to the pressures of society. And so what happens is that as men become quote unquote weak, what's going to happen is women are going to, women are going to not get punished for their bad actions and, and certain other, whether it's certain other minorities or races or, you know, sexual pro proclivities, such if, if you're part of the LGHD TV community, they're going to be getting away with a lot more in criminal wrongdoing. They're going to be released out of, of jail or, or without many penalties. And that is going to cause them to say, hey, you know what? I don't get punished for all the bad things I do. And they will continue to do bad things, which will overall lead to the decline of, I think, a lot of people's happiness, their safety, their overall well-being. And, and so when we talk about a societal collapse, it's everything. It's not just one or two sectors. Now it is common practice for mainstream uh, news to lie to you. Even when we know it's a lie, they still lie. Same thing with governments. You know, governments are getting called out, and I've got another story I'm going to do about that at the end of my other video today, where governments are, it's like, here you go, we caught you lying. And the government will look at literally what they said, where they're caught in a lie, and they go, we didn't say that. Here's you on audio or video or what, that's, no, you, you, you misunderstood. Every, it's, it's just the weakness pervades through everything. And as that happens, things are going to get worse and worse and worse. As a matter of fact, the other story um, that I'm going to do today, I'm also going to be covering over on uh, betterbachelor.locals.com, this in, in East Palestine, Ohio, this tanker that erupted and is spewing millions of, of gallons of, of poisonous particulates up in the air in Ohio isn't being covered by the mainstream news at all. Why? Because uh, it looks bad on the current administrations or the governor or, you know, the, the train company or whatever. And so they just say, oh, well, we're just not going to talk about it. Oh, look, balloons. 
Look at we gotta we, we have to look at the balloons. And that's literally what they're doing with it. So again, please uh, check into that other video. But this is where we go with this stuff. This is what's going to happen, and and ultimately it's going to land here. Now, this young man and I talked about I talked about AI and I talked about the dangers that are happening. This woman looks to be probably around my age, you know, forties, fifties, whatever. So she's probably a Gen Xer, but because she's not on. Like I'm, I get all this information off Twitter. Guys, if you want to find good news and the real stuff that's happening in the world right now, you're going to have to find individuals that'll talk about it because your news media is not going to. You know, other YouTubers might or maybe people on Rumble. But if you really want to know all the craziness is out there, Twitter is the place to be for that. Again, now that Elon Musk removed the censorship. It's where I'm finding many things that are both concerning and interesting to to. Uh, to talk about. So if you are over there, please follow me at Bachelor Joker. I think it's the smart thing to do to be on Twitter. I can't play the audio. I can't, uh, so I can't, I can't play the audio on this video because it's Joe Biden. Somebody made an AI and for Joe Biden to say very bad things. Actually, I can play it. I'll play it and then I'm going to mute it on YouTube. You guys on Locals will be able to hear everything that is being said because it's it's pretty funny. Watch her face because this is somebody that'll believe whatever they're spoon fed and then will, she'll be the one that is, is easily convinced by anybody putting out propaganda. Now, for you, those of you on um, YouTube, basically, you can see her shocked face. He's just dropping, like, Joe, this is Joe Biden cursing, talking about uh, doing a little bit of the ganja and dropping the N-word repeatedly. And look at her face. She believes this. She believes it. She's all in on this stuff. And and if you, again, for those of you on YouTube, if you heard the audio, you'd be like, that's not, like there's no way Joe Biden ever said anything. I'd like, you can go as dark as you want. Joe Biden never said anything like that. He, he, he doesn't. But she, hook, line, and sinker. So what happens if it's actually something that sounds kind of believable, but they edit the audio just a little bit or they edit the video just a little bit? She'll be the one that says, no, this person's crazy or this person's dangerous or this person's right or this person's wrong. She'll make all that judgment without having the ability to say, I'm not so sure about this. Let me investigate further. Let me do some research. Let me look it up. This is, these are the type of people we call normies. She is a normie. And these are the people that will get fooled, will get confused, will not understand what's going on, and then they will walk into the ballot box and vote a certain way uh, based on what they do or don't believe. And this is very dangerous stuff. That's why you have to be connected into what's going on. And if you don't have the time, you know, to be connected all day, this is where I say, hey, YouTubers that you trust or going on Twitter and following um, accounts or people or whoever that you kind of get a repertoire with and you say, okay, the, like Project Veritas, for example, these are people you can say, okay, I have trust in these people. I want to follow them and, and un, so I can understand what's going on in the news because things are just going to get worse from here on out. So it's not just that women aren't being held accountable, nor do they have any accountability for themselves. It's a lot of younger people. It's a lot of our government, our police forces, our military, um, our newscasters. Uh, the, the, the elites that want to tell you how to live, the trust is eroding in the system very quickly. And the faster that that happens, the better. Because the faster it falls apart, the less damage is done ultimately. It's like ripping a Band-Aid off. Just rip it off quick. A lot of pain. We get it over with. We move on. It's the slow descent into madness that can be, I think, the most dangerous. So maybe this is a good thing that things are happening quickly, 
that in the last two or three years you go, what is going on? Like the world has just gone absolutely crazy. Maybe it's good that it's happening this fast and maybe that means we'll bounce back from it sooner. I certainly hope, I certainly hope it does. I certainly hope it does. Uh, okay, uh, for those of you on YouTube, we're gonna jump over and uh, do the dating profile of the day and uh, some other some other fun stuff we'll talk about today. So I hope you don't join me over on betterbachelor.locals.com where free speech reigns supreme. <laughs> 